they are making a difference on 938 Live. Earlier this month, Tomasic Polytechnic School of Design showcased their students' works at the Design Show 2014. The school emphasizes good and meaningful design that delivers a strong social message. We'll take a closer look at five of the designs showcased at the Design Show, starting with Ner Diana Binte Saat's Cat Clock and Other Strange Things. This project is called Cat Clocks and Other Strange Things, and what this project is about is kind of like a documentation of my sister Aisha who mm. is autistic so when you say documentation do you mean a book or do you mean um, it's, actually, it's actually a collection of publications tiny publications as well as certain artifacts that I've collected from her life right and I kind of displayed all of that into a shelf of like a display Right. Can you bring us through maybe one or two of the artifacts and the publications that are most significant in the project? One of them would be this, like it's a frame with a pair of scissors in the middle mm-hmm. and um, hair like sprawled all around it, as well as eyelashes. And what this artifact is about is that there's one time where we found her cutting her own hair and eyelashes mm-hmm. because we left the scissors around the house. And so we thought that was kind of endearing because she actually like, saw like um, hair cutting like at a, at a salon mm. so she kind of like tried to mimic a hairdresser mm. by cutting her own hair yeah and the the kind of publications that are there basically just three books and one of them would be like a flip book right. to sort of like show how she's stimu- she does stimming um, which is kind of like sensory input like she uses it to get sensory input and the other two will be regular books um, filled with like stories and reflections so that, you know, others who read it can um, understand where I'm coming from. How old is your sister, Diana? She's 13 this year. She's 13. So, obviously, Autism Awareness Week uh, happened recently, and uh, this was actually a piece that was displayed there as well. Uh, How do you think this raised awareness for autism, and what were you trying to say to your audiences? This project, I kind of want to open a door into the world of autism, um, to for other people to you know understand my perspective, mm-hmm. um, because you know not everyone has um, the privilege to um, interact with an autistic person every day. With a sibling with autism, mm-hmm. I wanted to you know let people see how autis- autism is like and how living with autism can be you know enjoyable and not necessarily always negative. I love that. I love that you're calling it a privilege to be yeah, in touch with is, an autistic person. What does that privilege mean to you? You know, seeing my sister, how she works every day, you know, she has to, she follows a strict uh, daily schedule and things like that. And from there, I've learned things like, you know, how I have to like manage my time well and also how I have to always, you know, be very hardworking and also, you know, she does a lot of these drawings. So from there, as a creative person, I see inspiration, you know, as well as, you know, how how free her imagination can be. And it's really very inspiring to my work. That's inspiring to me, hearing you talk about it like that. Uh, but I'm sure when you guys are out and when you're about, the reason why you want to raise awareness in the first place is because I'm sure some people out there might perceive her behavior as strange, as unacceptable in in society. What do you do or what do you say to them? They do these like weird and strange things for a reason. You know, it's not because they are badly behaved and things like that. So I guess... Because autism is an invisible um, syndrome, you know, you can't um, tell when someone has autism. They, they might just, you know, seem to be behaving strangely in public. Mm-hmm. So I guess, you know, don't make such a big fuss out of it, you know, because sometimes we, we can't control it and she can't control it as well. And that was Nur Diana Binte Saad, who is taking a diploma in visual communication at Tomasic Polytechnic School of Design, talking about her project Cat Clock and other strange things. This has been They Are Making a Difference. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Daphne Lim. They are making a difference on 938 Live.